basically when you're in a roadside assistance situation, your car has broken down or your tire has gone flat, you normally Google the number of your service provider, call them up and say, hey, this is my membership number, this is who I am, this is where I'm stuck. This app basically does the same job in less than one second or maybe two. My app is called Waving Hand. A waving hand for centuries ago it was used to grab attention, right? Whenever like tribes and people, the first action you do when you want to uh, grab an attention is you wave your hand. Basically, when you're in a roadside assistance situation, your car has broken down or your tire has gone flat, you normally Google the number of your service provider, call them up and say, hey, this is my membership number, this is who I am, this is where I'm stuck. Now, this is an old school and very, or I should have said, it's, it's not a very productive way to do. This app basically does the same job in less than one second or maybe two. You open the app, you press a button and you're done. Your GPS location, your name, your membership number, which car you're driving, everything has been sent to their server. From there it's digitized. It can be sent to the local subcontractor and that person would be there in less than five minutes. From a client side of it, it's a really good convenience because you could be an old lady or you could be in a situation where you, you can't remember the number, your membership number, or forget about that. You don't even remember the call center number. You normally Google it. Everything is saved. From the company side of it, they say they would save nearly 200 to 300,000 because you don't have a call center, no employees. Eventually, in six months, you can reduce your call center expense by nearly half. And the, the beautiful thing is everything is digitized from the source. So when your signal is sent, everything is sent, like your name, membership number, your GPS location, which car you're driving. And you can even text a little message that, you know, I, I had an accident or my tire is flat or the battery is flat. Or we are look, we are, the app is almost done. The UI is done. We are launching it somewhere in April. I have a big meeting with the uh, Northern Territory's biggest service provider, which is called AANT, and the CEO of AANT has agreed to meet to me on the 9th of this February to pitch 